Welcome in everybody. Don't even know if there's anybody in the room yet, but welcome in everybody. We are back to the Witchy 101. I do believe it is show six we're on this time. So tonight we are going to be talking a bit about dark energies, light energies, why we work with them, why a lot of people do feel that they're a bit negative and things, but us witches feel as if everything is for positive reasons. Well, we have been away for, I think it's two weeks, guys, but we are now back, weather permitting, of course. So, it's nice to be back, actually, so we'll introduce our sisters, as always, our beautiful sister Willow and our beautiful sister Mystical. Hi, ladies, what have you been up to? You want to go first? Who's going first? Okay. Um, uh, I'll go, all right, then. Uh, I'm oh, all right. Push. Go ahead. Come. Remember that because of the time, guys. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we're not funny. talking oh, welcome about the last week of the delay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah hello. Um, I'm all right. Well, yeah. um, no, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead right, and but... get... <laughs> There's a big delay. Let's, right, Mr. Call's <laughs> going first. So, there's like, I'm going to shut up and zip my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that I got my giggles, sorry everybody, we wait and then we like, we want to like the other one to go and then and then we wait and it's just like, ah, okay, so I'm glad to be, I'm glad to be back with the witchy 101 <laughs> and I'm still laughing, excuse me, um, hello everybody that's coming in, Gothic, uh, PPR, uh, Curtis, uh so we Look, got come on everybody nice to be back so um yeah everybody knows me so far that's in here for the people coming in i do paranormal investigations i show uh workings how to do some people call them spells i call them workings it's a matter of play on words i guess um i consider myself a spiritual being my two other best buddies in the world our witches <laughs> and Sherry's trying her best not to talk. Um, I have an Etsy shop, a Macari shop. I have a eBay shop. I sell all kinds of stuff. I make oils. I make powders. I show how to use them. Um, pretty much. I have all kinds of stuff in my playlist. If you've not subscribed to all of us, please subscribe to all of us. We all have a lot of different things on our channels and if you have any questions at any time that we're in here just ask the questions and now i'll zip it and it will be sherry's turn <laughs> you're muted sis i'm muted sorry guys <laughs> right so i'm sherry obviously known as willow I obviously do investigations. I am a witch. Um, I'm going to say nothing about sister down there. Keep saying that she's this spiritual practitioner. I don't know what I think. But yeah, like, obviously, we really love that we're doing these shows. And today it's going to be really cool because we can talk to you and defy to you what the light and the dark actually means. Instead of you always thinking it's good and evil, you're going to understand our way of working and that it's not as negative as people try to make it out to be. So. We hope you enjoy the show and just ask us if you've got anything you're not sure about. We're happy to answer and lots of love to you all. Over to Sister Drew. Zip, 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 zip. Definitely, guys, definitely. Right, so I'm just going to, because it is a bad reception tonight, guys, and because we have all got a lot to say about this subject, I'm going to say my part first just so that we're not talking over each other. So I've been busy all week, as you all know, I've been taking a new course, which is to really try and get my business out there, to try and figure out how to get up and running. So in bulk is today, and usually, as you know, I would set up a full altar and I would usually do a big procedure, but I've not had time to do that. So because there was a lot of things last year that I really want to get out of my head, I want to get out my environment. So this is where the dark energy will come in for me, okay? And this is how I'm going to explain the, the light and dark workings to you. So all we can we do workings for people that is usually for healing. It is usually for to bring in abundance, love, luck, everything that is positive, okay? 
But there is times that we do have to do things that is maybe seen as a little bit negative, as people will say, because we do have to cut cords. We do have to also rid negative things out of our life. And in order to rid negative things out of your life, it can look a bit scary on an altar. But to us, it's not scary because it really is just things that we're putting in place to rid an energy off. Such as tonight, I don't know if you can see that, I have got a yellow candle on my altar. It is anointed with Hecate's oil. It also has got inscriptions on there of my name, my date of birth, my business, my intention for the rest of the year going forward. Because remember, in bulk is about saying goodbye to the dark winter and now welcoming in the spring. So essentially what we're doing is we're ridding the darkness there as well. So that is also a dark, okay? And we're welcoming the light. If you see I'm me, me emphasising dark light. So the candle could be a bit scary looking at people for me tonight, guys, because I've got pins in it. Aye, son. Right, my, my, I'll see you tomorrow, pal. Love you too. Bye bye. Um, so I've got a yellow candle, and I don't think you can even see it, but it's got pins in it. And the pins is everything that I felt that I needed to rid from last year. So when I was putting those pins in that candle, I was saying that I wanted to get rid of the evil eye. I wanted to get rid of any negative energies that are around me that I have picked up anywhere. Also, a couple of other things and a couple of other little things things in my community and things that I wanted to kind of sort out and it isn't anything bad it's more about my thoughts and my feelings it's to get the things out my life so a lot of people because they would say oh that looks a bit scary that you're putting pins in things it's not scary guys it's just that I'm ridden that dark energy that dark thing that dark emotion the dark things that stop me from being abundant if you like and I'm welcoming them in the light and I'm welcoming in the light to the, the, this year so that's kind of how I'm going to explain it for you in your workings you can use the dark to get rid of it you can also use the dark to manifest things there is a saying that it's easier to manifest in the dark than it is the light so it's and it's all about in your mind. So when you look in your mind, what do you see? You see darkness. So that is also another way of seeing it. You can't see anything at all without dark. Because if you don't have dark, you don't have light. So the two of them balance off each other. So just remember that when that there is other people out there that can go a little bit deeper into things with the dark energy and things. And I'm not denying that, guys. But for us in our community, we only use dark energy. And it is only energy. It's not dark spirits. It's not dark beings. It's not dark anything else. It's dark energy to welcome in light. It's dark energy that you want to push out. It's anything that you can see as a negative and a positive, really, is the way I want to explain it. But we did. We are going to take questions and things. So it's over to one of my sisters. I do know don't know one once what wants to go next. <laughs> Just don't argue. Go ahead, go right. ahead, Cherry. So <laughs> I agree a lot with what. Welcome, on, everybody. Saying. Um, when you hear the you know the terms are uh, white and black, uh, people always presume it to be, uh, you know, good or evil, and it's not. What you got to remember is. The light energy is the way of our universe in our world. It's what makes a balance in this world. So sometimes we get faced with situations that can't just be solved by the light. It can be solved by the dark energy as well. Now, when I say a dark energy or negative or something that's going to do really bad to you, it's just an energy that is different to the light energy, but still does the same sort of thing, just in the opposite way, in my opinion. Um, like my instance obviously was a little way back like obviously um there was a situation that was going on with someone i knew and we needed to help that person to get rid of these these problems and these people that were in their life so we done what would be known as like a return to sender spell now to a lot of people they think that that's really bad and it means that we're, we're cursing back on that person or we're bringing that bad luck back on that person we're not what we're doing 
is we're sending back to them what they first put out because it's not relevant to that person and shouldn't have been done. So we're just sending back what they've given out to protect that person. We've not put no ill intent into that. We've not asked for them to be hurt or anything like that. We don't work along that line. And as I was saying to you earlier, you know, there are some spells like such as um, Sister Drew, like saying about the candle where she puts the pins in. A lot of people would associate to being voodoo, negative energy, bad energy. You're doing bad things when you're not. You're like she said, you're, she's just removing all of that negative energy and those things that don't serve her, which is very much what the embolic is about. The embolic is about bringing to surface and releasing all of the energy and the things that don't serve you anymore and making pathway and vision for new things. And my view on light and dark is that within the mind, some of us see in the light and some of us see in the dark. That doesn't mean that one person's bad and one person's good. It just means that we see through vision a different way. And like Sister Drew said, there would not be darkness without light. Like there wouldn't be light without darkness. There is that element in both of them. And this world is yin and yang. It is light and dark. And that is what we conflict and have energy in as well. So there's a difference between using the dark and the light energy to do something good and somebody that's a little bit more further in that and does it to the ways that they cause harm on people and things like that. We do not do that. We what we do is we give justice to those that deserve it okay and it's not done with ill intent it's done with good intent and knowing so that's my category on the the light and dark that it's not bad like you guys think and it's very useful sister mystical okay i'm up okay i'm gonna try to um and and the way that they explained it is perfect because that is a hundred percent true i'm gonna try to put a little bit of a twist on it to get people to actually visualize what we are referring to when people say dark and light they think dark is evil as they said they think light is good no they're two separate energies think of it as picture the universe in your head okay now if you have to do a working and you need it to work fast if you picture the universe there is more of the darkness not darkness in the universe there then there is light in the universe now the dark the darkness is more as a void you look at the universe you see void yeah you see specks of light and planets and stars and all of that within that void so what the specks you see that would be considered light but if you're putting it in a pie there's going to be more of that dark more of that void than there is of the light so if you are working and you're using that darkness you're not working with it because it's evil you're working with it because there's more of it therefore your working will work faster it's like asking 10 people to help with the working versus three people to work with the working so you have to kind of see it that way it's the energies that you're working with not good not bad get that all out of your head okay so when uh like um sherry was talking about for return to sender for example and she talks about justice that's exactly right what you're doing is if somebody does something to you whether it's good or bad or evil you want to keep the good but if they have ill intentions and you do a return to sender what you're doing is you're not sending bad intentions back you're like a mirror you're just having it bounce off of you and return back to where it came from so if it's one person that sent it it's going to bounce back to them if there's five people that sent it to you it's going to bounce back to all five of them so that's how you have to 
look at it the same way with hexes the same way with curses if you feel that somebody did that to you you can do the return to sender it's not bad all you're doing is reflecting it off of you back to them so that you can be at peace with yourself so instead of saying good back black white all of this just see it as the energies what you're working with none of us works with anything evil we don't call them demons and devils and whatever is out there i don't even know what you call them out there because we don't work with them we work with angels we work with our guides we work with our spirits you know we work with the universe we work with the ether so all of this that we do is is good there are people that has things coming to them and all you're doing is sending it hi back. christina because hi, you can also, hello everybody you so you can see it as a boomerang effect Somebody throws a boomerang, yeah. it's going to turn back around and go right back to them. So that's another way that you can, you know, that you can see it. Now, somebody had asked Gothic in here. The other way is like doing the, the balance. Yep, it's making yeah. the balance up. I don't know if you want to re-repeat about the, the, I think, I don't know how you could even explain this without mentioning what you had to do, but sometimes there's things you need to do to re-energize it to regain that balance so say somebody does something really negative it's a really bad thing but we know as witches and things or as spiritual people that that thing wasn't right and we know that this is a repeating pattern of this person okay they doing this negative situation we can then go in and stop that situation from repeating itself through one way or another. Now, a lot of people will see that as a darker working. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. But it may be a darker working in a lot of witches' eyes. But it's for to stop a, at the A word <laughs> that ends with E. It could maybe stop things along that road cruelty to animals it could maybe be to stop that so there is things like that that maybe be seen as darker because we are then going in and we are then changing somebody's will if you like that's seen as a darker working but it's for a better purpose it's what they are they're the ones that's doing the negative thing so we are then going in and doing the positive thing if you like that is then regaining the balance also, I remember as well, that is why I put up Hecate's picture on the thumbnail. Now, the picture of Hecate that is up is our darker side. If you look at all the Hecate pictures I share, I usually share her in our, our love and light side. But this, this picture that is up of Hecate tonight is our darker side. Now, every single one of the goddesses, Lilith, Hecate, Freya, Persephone, they all have a oh, loving light side that we work with, oh, but they also do have yeah. a darker side, guys. And that's where a lot of people get that mixed up and think they're demons because they're a dark, darker side, but they're not. They're goddesses. It's just that. They have got the balance, much as all us witches have. We have got free will to use our gifts the way we see we want to use them. The goddesses are, are behind us with both their energies we can call upon Hecate well me for, it's me Hecate it's Freya for Sister Sherry but we can call upon them to also to bring out their darker side for us to help us clear the pathways for us to help us clear away any blockages and things that is in the path and in, in our path so that could be seen as using the goddesses for a darker thing instead of using them for a good thing such as healing manifesting and things so remember there's also that aspect of it and they've been these are generational there's every single religion has got this in it angels demons so it's not an, a bad thing it's just the way the world it's just the way things are it's the way you choose to use them we could go and conjure something right now that would make a boomerang effect on every single person that's ever done something to us but why would we do that because we know we're doing that for the bad so we would get returned on that so why would we put yeah. that out 
only to get it back on as we know what we're going to get. So we don't do it, guys. But we, but we can put blockages in that is maybe seen as darker. But it's for positive reasons. So I don't know if the sisters want to maybe comment on that kind of aspect. It having to do a darker working, which is really a positive working, if you know what I mean. At the end of the day, how I look at it, it, like I said to you in the previous thing, you know, um, sometimes there are just some things that we're dealing with that you can't use the light, just the light to sort that out. You do need to bring your darker elements in to do that as well. And it, and like Sis said, it's not invoking a demon or a negative energy to come in. It's invoking the energy and the balance of this world, which is obviously both dark and light, good and bad, whatever you want to say. Now, a lot of it's the intention, okay? Any practitioner can sit there and use the light and dark energy, yeah, but it's how you use it correctly. Like some people will use it very darkly and do really bad things. Then you've got people like us, which is like us that don't do negatively, but sometimes we have to do things that look like it's negative, even though it's not. It's doing it like Sister Drew said, it is doing it for the better. Like for instance, we I'll talk about something that happened. I, I'm not going to say the person's name, but when my partner was, when like people that I know went through some really <laughs> bad stuff, there were some people that went and was causing some trouble and not doing very nice things. And as a community, we come together as, as, as a coven of sisters, okay? We come together, we were in the chat, and there was different things that were, were done that some people may would have classed as maybe being a negative thing. We we done things such as um, putting somebody inside something to stop them from being able to influence and do bad on the person that they were affecting, okay? then somebody else used mirrors to reflect back the energy to that person so it goes back to that person. Now, a lot of people have been like, oh, that was negative, that's evil, that's dangerous. You know, there were other things done as well, obviously, but it wasn't negative because it was done for the, the, the greater good. There wasn't any harm asked to be done. There wasn't no negativity asked to be done to that person. We simply were just protecting a person that needed the help and making sure that that person was shielded and protected from what was affecting them and it did work and you know people come up to us every day and go oh you do really negative work when you send back on people and you do this and that that's like that's like you cursing them and that's it's not we're not cursing them we're sending back what they've given out that's all we're doing it's like like we, we said, manifested we're... also for that person to have a better life yeah, yeah, we did, yeah. We didn't, and want, want, we didn't and, manifest and, that person to go. And I will even do that. For, for them to move even on and do better. When I've, had yeah. to, I've had to do certain spells on enemies just to keep them at bay from me and things like that. I've never done any negative mm. or bad to them. I've always asked at the end, no. please help them see the light. Help them to clear their heart yeah. from the darkness. Let them find bring them to the light. So I've yeah. never, ever put harm or evil on anybody. I don't agree in that. But I will use dark elements with my light elements yeah. when it's needed. It doesn't mean that I'm conjuring up stuff from the devil because it is nothing to do with the devil. That's all I can say. So, Sister Mystical? Definitely agree, PPR, brother. Yeah. PPR saying I... positive and negative work together. Balance is what the negative is stronger than causes problems for people that don't know how to counterbalance it. That. That's exactly like PPR. People that don't know how to work with energies are the ones that does the harm because essentially they're, they're untipping that balance. They're tipping it that way to the darkness. So that's where the, the badness ends up coming in. Spot on. But you can PPR. conjure up bad energies, right? Well. Of course you can. We're sorry, you can sister, conjure up bad energies. You can. Um, you can. You can conjure up like bad energies, but that's not what we do. Conjuring up bad energies in the way that you're asking about, Banshee, no, would be no. like invoking and calling out to negative energies to come forth and giving certain things over. We don't do that sort yeah. of thing. We're not, not that way. You know what I mean? We're not like that. Hi, Hatchie, Hatchie. Listen, even when we're what we're asking the goddesses, darker side, to do something for us, we're not asking her to go do harm to somebody. We're just asking her essentially to bring out her tougher side because we need something done quick, we need it done with power, and we need it done so that it doesn't come back. That is essentially what it's doing. But then there's also the the, the, the way of 
the person that is doing that other thing, such as maybe harming an animal, maybe done something that's really bad, they're if we didn't do that, guys, they're continuing on that pattern. And we probably would never have knew about it if it wasn't for somebody really, really knowing this was happening. That is why we took over and done it, you know? So, anyway, it's, it was your... Oh, welcome in, Colin. It's, what you want to say, Mystical, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Um... Welcome in everybody that is coming in and popping in. Um, we're trying not to interrupt each other because we have a bad delay. So we're trying not to talk over each other. Okay. So if we're reading your messages and we don't get to them, it's because we're not trying, we're not wanting to interrupt the other person that's talking. I ha this is my saying because you have the everyday people that if you're driving down the road and somebody cuts you off, well, maybe not you. I'm saying there are thousands of them out there. And you're like, you stupid son of a bitch. I hope you run off the road. <laughs> what do you think that is? What do you think it is? You just put bad juju on them, okay? So for anybody that hasn't done that, then kudos to you. Now, I have a saying because this is something that has touched my heart in things that I know about. And my saying is, I always say, sometimes a curse is necessary and not necessarily bad to protect the innocent. Some people need to taste their own wrongdoing to stop their abusive ways to you and to others. So you know there's people out there in the world that torture, okay? Torture animals, torture kids, stuff like that. If I have the ability to stop them, now, I don't have to bring harm and say, I hope they have a car wreck and fall off a mountain and die or something. That's not what I'm talking about. If there is a way to stop them so that they can stop abusing that person, maybe it's even their grandmother, you know, you, you always hear about these people that, you know, abuse the elderly, abuse the kids, abuse animals. So there is a way to stop them without calling on the so-called evil out there to come in and do your bidding for you. You can call on the universe. You can call on whatever you need to call on that is good that can stop that in their own way. Because, like they say, things work in mysterious ways. So you can stop them. It's a matter of words. Words mean everything. So you have to think about how you are saying things, how you put it out, how you put it in the universe, you know. So there is a way to stop that kind of thing without calling on some, I don't even, I don't even know what to call the names because I don't know. The I know, see, that's with them exactly. But I know I that know I can stop it is. with what words I choose, you know, to stop them, to, you know, for there to be justice. I got to plug in my phone too. Well, that's it. Remember it. Here. So you've got to remember, guys, when we start to take this path, remember, we have got power in our hands. Okay? Oh, shit. So it really is down to the, each individual one of us how we use that power. When you really do it, and I've talked to the people here that hasn't started work, doing workings or anything yet, because that is our next step, remember, is building the altars and things. So when you start to take this path, and you start seeing little bits, little, little bits of power that you're going to have, you're changing this, changing that, doing a spell for this one, doing a spell for that one. When you start to take that path and you start seeing that, you can start to feel where what works, what doesn't, what has to be done to do this, to do that. So you, you'll start feeling your power. Now remember, we all have free choice to what we do with that power. That is where we need to explain why there is other people. It does work with the dark energies. Now remember, as we've always told you, anything that you do do, that is up to you. We are not judging anybody anywhere whatsoever, okay? Just like the fact that 
when any of us have to do any workings that does stop maybe the things that we're talking about animal abuse or anything like that that is because we really do have to do it we're not doing it because we want to do it we're doing it because those animals those, those victims they deserve and the future victims that would probably be there if we didn't put these blockages in anytime i've had to do anything like that i have always just asked for those people that done the harm to please be punished for what they've done so that they learn the lesson not to repeat it and no further generation repeats what they have done meaning that the victim that they've done something to doesn't repeat that either so remember we've got the power to stop things like that if you know how to do it usually something like that you'll try and do it as a group such as maybe in your clan like we've got you'd maybe turn to a clan for that and that keeps you focused that keeps us all fo focused on that one thing to bring in the energy that's needed because things like that are a powerful energy to move so that's typically when you bring in your sisters or your clan maybe it could even be men in there as well to help you just push that energy away it may be seen as darker because you're ridden something but you're really just ridden the energy that's around those victims the energy that that person is keeping using to do harm so what you're doing is you're trying to block that person's that person's energy that kind of keeps pushing that out so you're making sure that they stop in their tracks and that negative thing that they have done doesn't go any further either so it's balance remember everything that you do is free will and it's also balance if you are all, always remembering that balance then you can't go for wrong and when you start building your altars and things you will feel that you will feel the power because the power is in your altar that's where you put all your things that make you feel powerful it's where you start giving all your gifts so you're giving your gifts to give back so that you essentially get back. You know, well, not really, you don't do it for that purpose, but that's what it makes you feel like. Because you gift a, a, a tumbler of water to your, your goddess, for example, you feel proud. You feel as if you've fed her and watered her type of thing. So that's also about playing with the negative and things, eh, eh, darker, sorry, light and dark energies. Because you feel, see when you're stripping a roll or down to clean it and things, you feel a bit bad, you feel as if you're taking things away from it. <laughs> so remember the balance of everything that you do is just another point of that. So, is there anything you just want to else add? There's a lot of people in the room, welcome in. Yeah. Everybody, thank you for coming in tonight. The, the, the truth and the fact is a witch is a witch, okay, and to do your magic, do your spells and that, you use both the dark and the light element. It don't matter if one of you go by saying I do white magic and the other one goes by saying I do black magic. The fact is you use both elements, the white and the dark magic, to form magic. You have to. It's just sometimes, um, like like we're saying, there's a lot more negativity in this world. So, it, you know, there's a lot more of the darker energy there. It's how you use it, okay? It's not, you know, if you're going to sit there and invoke a negative energy to come in and you're going to ask a negative energy to do something really bad, it's going to do it, okay? If you're somebody that invokes that dark energy in, but you invoke them in to ask them to do something better and good, then why not? What well, you've got to remember, like Sister Mystic, I think it was earlier, was saying, if there's a lot more darker energy, you're going to call on the darker energy, you're going to have the darker energy come into that working more than you are the light okay but the fact in the element is no magic that we form can work without both elements okay so whether you're against black magic and you like the white magic or you're you're for the black magic and you don't like the white magic the simple fact is if you're going to be a witch you're going to be a practitioner that uses forms of magic whatever you are you're using both elements you can't it's, work without them it's a Sorry. matter of words on how you yeah intention yeah yes. intention. If, you're, if you're needing to stop someone from doing harm it's the words you use to put yeah. out into the universe so and so is doing this so and so is doing that we need to stop it immediately we need to 
stop yeah. it in a way that it doesn't happen again. You're not asking for bad things to happen. Maybe no. the universe will say, you know what? This person is mentally off and psychotic and needs to be put in a hospital so that they can get help. Therefore, leaving the animals exactly. alone, leaving the grandparents alone, leaving, you know, the children or whoever alone and for it to work, to remove them from that situation and put them somewhere where they can get help. Get help. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. it's a matter right. of how you phrase things and you don't even have to say for no harm to come to them. The universe, no. when you bring, no. what you're doing is when you're Every bringing it up to the universe, different. yeah, when you're bringing it up to the ether, when you're bringing it up to the angels and all, what you're doing is you're flagging that situation so yeah. that it can be taken notice. That's what you're, yeah. that's what you're doing. Yeah, I agree. And like, you don't have to say, you know, I wish no harm to none at the end. But some people just feel that they do like to say that at the end. It's mm -hmm. just them. I do. With some some of my stuff, I won't. Some of them I do. Mm -hmm. But like Sister Mystical was saying, you know, your your energies that you work with know what you need and what you want. They're, they're aware of that situation. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's going to be picked up, whatever. It is all about what comes out your mouth and how you, you think it as well. Because it isn't just the words. Yeah, it's you thinking as well. Everything plays into that energy. Okay, so even if you don't, so some people can sit there and they they don't speak out loudly about what's going on, but they're thinking it so hard that something happens. Your mind's just yeah. as powerful as remember you, you don't need candles. Out, you know I mean? mm -hmm. So you've got to be very careful around that. So mm -hmm. you, you know, yeah, because we're not you've doctors, got to be very we're not psychologists. We can't make a judgment of what is wrong with that person, but we ask for help to correct the situation that is going on. See, that's where a lot of people can get it mixed up, though, Banshee. I don't know what situation you're talking about specifically, but if it's what I think you're talking about, where you're talking about um, the people that do harm, and it's essentially mental health, that is why you've got to be very careful what you do do when you are doing a working like that. Because most of the time, let's face it, probably 90% of that time it's going to be mental health that's made them do something like that. So that is why, therefore, anything that, that you feel... Because remember, every situation is different. So you're getting something in that maybe somebody says to you, OK, my six-year-old son keeps harming my cat. What, what am I going to do? This cat is the love of his life. He's not, you know, he doesn't, I don't want to take the cat off him, but I want him to stop. I want him to love the cat. So what do you do? Do you tell her just to get rid of the cat? Do you tell her that you'll give it a, a go? So what do you do? Us as spiritual people, we can go in there and we can go in there. We can do a little work and a little candle to bond the boy, the girl, whoever it may be, the adult, the whoever to that animal to, to, to change the will of what they're thinking. Depends on the situation. If it was an adult who somebody's coming to you and saying, there's a man over the back that keeps shooting sick all the cats in the neighbourhood with a pellet gun, every cat keeps getting harmed, that's totally different working. That's deeper working. You're gonna, you are then going in there knowing that as a repeated behaviour that's probably been for him for he was a kid. So you're then getting in there and you are focusing in on him that's doing the harm to get the help that he needs. You're also going in there to think or to change the energies of the cats in the neighbourhood that keeps getting shot with a pellet gun. You're also putting out loving energy to them, kind of a little bit of pushing out the, uh, that negative energy that he has put in that neighbourhood and you're trying to welcome in more loving energies so the cats then can essentially settle back down. Every situation is different. That's why I give yeah. you the two scales. You can't, you can't just say, okay, every situation, I just go in and ask for the karma. You can't do that. Every situation, you've got to try and go behind what has happened, who done it, why they done it. Is it something that's happening all the time? 
you know, and that's where we, we as I think it's actually a privilege to go in and help animals and things that's maybe because they've not got free will that like we have. So us is the the ones that can go in and kind of change energies, influence energies and things. And also remember we can ask our guides to go do something for us as well, such as you can ask one of your guides, like maybe ask Billy to go, Billy, can you please go into that neighborhood and see what is going on? And come back and let me know if there's something needs to happen. You know, go in, do a little bit of investigation with your guide. It's like get them to go to the area and feel it out. You know, there's so much work that goes into doing anything before you even start to do a spell like that anyway. So it's all about every situation. You have to weigh it up. You have to figure out who's involved. You have to figure out why things are happening. You have to investigate it before you actually go do anything. So remember, you're judging every single thing that's happening at that moment before you do a working. And that is yeah. when you'll know how far to go and when not to go. Or what, how far you're working you're going to have to do. You're going to have to get your sisters involved to do a full ritual to rid the negative energy out of this neighbourhood. You know, there's so much goes on it, guys. But we will get to that stage. That's what I'm trying to tell you is, Everything that we're trying to teach you is for the purpose of you knowing. There is going to be that chance out there for you to work with dark energy, is dark and light. Just remember, everything is free will, okay? Before you even go build your altars and welcome in goddesses and things, everything you do has to be that you know it is for your higher purpose. It's for the better of yourself, it is for the better of the universe, and it is better. It's better for mankind. It's not to do anything negative or gain riches and yeah, things. No. It's just so that you feel physically, spiritually balanced. That you can maybe help people from making your mistakes. You can maybe help people that's doing harm here, and also reward people that's doing good there. There is so much in it, guys. That's why we're trying to learn these from the start, and hopefully, you'll get an understanding of what we're trying to teach you. So, oh yeah, over to one of you guys. And gothic, like gothic. <laughs> Someone who does that for a sake of it is just damn right a total piece of garbage person. Yeah, I had, I agree. Anybody that goes out hurting another yeah. person or an animal is a very negative person. But again, like Sister Drew saying, you don't really know the backgrounds and stuff like that. And that's yeah. practitioner. A lot of the people that come to us live so far away. We can't be judgmental, even though we it's don't. It's never happened, people. Banshee. I was just giving you a made-up <laughs> scenario. Even though, <laughs> like, we do not agree with what that person's done to that animal or that other person, and we probably do feel like this person does. We have to be the sensible ones because if we, like Sister Drew and Mystical have said, and myself, if we have done something that was negative towards that person, it's going to come back on us and it could come back on the people that are needing the help as well because they've spoke to us. You have to be logical when you're in the craft. There's going to be situations that you're faced with that you're going to hate so much and you want to do something of the opposite, but you know that you can't because it's going to come back on you. It could come back on the innocent. You have to be able to burden that and understand that, you know what I mean? So that's why we act in... A certain way it doesn't mean that we agree with you know uh children molesters or anything like that we don't we don't you know yeah, what I mean? but it was just a scenario and stuff yeah. like that you know what i mean and like cherry saying i'd be around there knocking on the door and i'd shove it up his beep yeah that's probably how yeah, all it's all us <laughs> in our magical practice mm -hmm. we can't be like that because we can get so much back for acting in a negative way and yeah. in my opinion if we can go back and demonstrate what somebody's done to somebody all, already, then we're no better than them, okay? If we're doing it in that negative way. That's why we have that heart and we do it a different way, okay? Because we're not at that level. Exactly. And yeah, sometimes yeah. we do have to step in and do things to stop people doing things. And people might think that's really bad, but you don't know the outcome. You don't know the situation we've been given and been faced with okay so when we act and do what we exactly. do we do it out of the best interest of yeah. what we're doing and of them you know and like you could get murderers and people that maybe there's somebody that's wanting justice because they've lost somebody and that, that this person's making it really difficult 
you know, again, that's a very horrible situation yeah. to be faced with. If you've got to try and help somebody to get justice for somebody they've lost through the hands of someone that's not being truthful on that. But again, you've got to look logically and sensibly. Mm -hmm. You do not send the harm out because you're low, as you're as low as them. What you do <laughs> is you bring that energy <laughs> and that. How I look at it is, I bring that energy, that pain, and those 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 emotions that those people come to me with and i conflict that into a good energy and i conflict that into an energy of justice an energy of him to be open and to be truthful and things like that you know what i mean it we can't go around causing spells that's going to kill them or they're going to have something really bad happen to them because it's always going to come back on your yeah. head guys that's what you're doing mm -hmm. you know what yeah. i mean also too i want to add to that if i may um yeah being that I used to do workings for other people, now I don't do them for other people. I just show them how to empower themselves, you know, give them ideas and try to help them. But if you get to the point, and you may already be there, you know, so I don't really know you other than the chat, other than being subscribers and talking to us on a regular basis. We really don't know you. I mean, Drew may know some of you personally, but I don't. But if you get to the point that you're doing workings for other people, always remember where you are in that spot. I have had people come to me and say, you know, so-and-so is doing this to their grandchild or they're doing this to their spouse and I want something done. I want them stopped, you know, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Even if you have the power to do it, you have to be justified in what you're doing because what I used to do is say, okay, if that's happening, I want proof. Don't come to me and ask me for my help without proof. If you're saying they were beating them this and this and that, I want to see I want to see the police reports. I want to see the pictures. I want to see that that's taken place. And I guarantee you 99.9% .9 of the time, they will not come up with any of that proof because a lot of times it's not even taking place. They just wanted vengeance. They just want to retaliate because that person has pissed them off somewhere down the line and they want to get back at them. So oh, they yeah. go and they ask a witch or somebody that's spiritual to do something to them when that's not even what's going on. So I never do anything without mm -hmm. proof. That's what I used to do oh, for yeah. people. I don't That's why more. you send your but, mates. But, yeah. You don't but, you don't go forward with things till you know for definite. Definitely. That's yeah. right. That's right. You have to have proof. If you're accusing this other person of doing something, it's the same way if you went to court, you would have to show proof of it. The same way yeah. with me, I would be like, Where's the proof? Of I need course the proof. Not to me the proof. You know. Yeah. We would never take a fence banshee. That is where Definitely not. No. our clan, everybody's allowed their opinion. And even if it's totally different, you're welcome to your opinion, guys. And we've always said that. And Remember that's that, why okay? we're here. That's why you we're here, here for you to ask questions. Yeah. We're all Can individual. We we're all different. We're not meant to be the same. We're all different. You know, like, you're all, we all sit here and we go on about these people that do magic in the darker way and that. But not, not all yeah. of them are doing really bad things where they're sacrificing things. They just go a little bit deeper and they maybe use those energies in a little bit more of a deeper outcome. But they're still doing good things. You know what I mean? This is where people go wrong. Mm -hmm. You've got the ones that don't want to help you, don't like you, don't do want to do harm, want to do bad, want to do this. And they use really bad energies. But then you've got other people. And we don't that associate with anybody like that. And they don't sacrifice oh, things. They don't do these yeah. sort of things. They just use that energy and know how to open to that energy to get what they want. Yeah. There is a big difference. You know what I mean? Like you're going on about the occult. Now, I personally wouldn't be in a cult, but you can't look at an occult and think everybody in that occult's bad because there isn't a lot of them probably are really good people they've just got certain things in the cult they believe in and they follow but they still have that love and that respect when mm -hmm. i've said to you i don't want to be part of an occult it isn't because i don't i dislike them mm. it's just not for me okay it's not that's why opinion. we're a clan guys that's yeah. why we're a clan and we're not a coven because we're don't all different we're all free to leave. we're all cult witches yeah, we're all are bad they're not cult. 
yeah they're not bad at all some of you them know, are really really good people yeah. i know people that have been from a cult so i've got friends that are from a cults they're not bad people at all they just have a bit of a slight different way than what i work you know what i mean it's just it's not for me so in the what all cult all cult the word all cult o c c u l t it really just covers everything that's magical mystical all the strange. mystical realm yeah. It's, no, it's it actually, anything that's strange it actually re, uh, derives from the word secret or secret yeah hidden. Right. secret hidden secret is what yeah secret yeah. secret that is what it is it's not mm -hmm. you know the occult thing has been put out of proportion in these days because a lot of people do take their own rules up in the cults and some things do go on in some occults that are not good but that doesn't mean that every occult's like that. There are different types of occults, okay? And um, as Sister said, all it really symbolises is really magical and, you know, open people that have the ability to be able to use different energies and different forms, and that's what they do. It's just that, you know, sometimes certain rules and stuff can be brought into certain things, and people maybe have to practice slightly different. But it doesn't mean that you, you categorise them all as being bad, because they're not mm -hmm. so you know, you know y'all see drew you see sherry you see me up here uh you know several times a, a week whether we're on each other's channels and some of you looking in might think okay they all think the same they all do the same no we're all we different we do things different no, no. some things we no, no. disagree some things we disagree on but we all understand that at the end of it, the results may be very similar. We just go about it in different ways to come out with yeah. the end results. So everybody, no, the same. everybody is yeah. is going to be different. Everybody is. There is no wrong or right yeah. way to be a witch in the craft, guys. Okay, don't matter how you practice, how you are, how your magic is. Everybody's individually different. Everybody's meant to be individually different. Like I've said to you so many yeah. times, you could put ten witches together, tell them all to perform the same same ritual or spell, and they'll all do it completely different. It's just what fits mm -hmm. with you. Yeah. You know now I mean? there that are now, with, yeah. With that being said, there are some so-called witches or whatever you want to call them i call them they go by. i'm not going to throw any specific names out there but there are yeah. some that does My push it to the extreme for a lot of negative stuff but what we're yeah. saying is we're not them okay we are not them so that's a whole different <laughs> A whole different ball to, game over there. To me, in my Welcome opinion, in. those sort yes. of people are not witches. In my opinion, those sort of people are not witches, okay? Because in my opinion, real witches are people that have love for the world and for the things in it. And that we want to exactly. do healing. things like that. That's a real witch. So these people yeah. that portray themselves as witches really mock what we are as witches when they do that. Because that is not a witch's way of working. Not at all. Guess, it's no yeah, harm exactly. to that no harm to none for a reason mm -hmm. you know guys so, that is where every i know that we say that we don't need labels but that's where the labels do come in and they're important yeah. i wish that people would stop using the label witch for people that is really like satanists or the mm -hmm. i don't even know the words i don't know the words for them but listen we don't, we even, don't do none of that <laughs> We don't even associate around people like that. That's why we can't really explain it. I've read it in books and things about it, so I can't explain it to my mind, but I can't explain it to people. And I don't know anybody like that because I wouldn't bring the negativity in. At one point in time, I was going to try and interview somebody that was like Satanists and things. That was when I was with that first company because I wanted I to know about... And then I thought, why would I bring that negativity to me so i didn't even bother going along with it because i feel as if you are who you surround yourself with so therefore i try and surround myself with all my sisters that are positive they're the same as me to the core as i am we only want peace in the yeah. world we only want to help people you know i did interview the guy that you're on about 
there was a male and female right. that worked together and they are part of, of that yeah. i only got him i'm gonna say to you now he's the most loveliest guy you could meet okay there are different types of satanists there are ones that will call upon the energies of the demons and stuff like that but they do not do it for a negative thing they do it for other symbolization they believe just like us in justice and stuff like that i met him personally on on lives he's come on to a couple of my shows he's actually a really educated guy very interesting and he's you know when we had the interviews he explained what he does and what he represents and that he was saying that he's not one of these people that go around seeking to hurt people or do anything but he will take things into his hands if it's necessary okay and he goes around and cleanses people's houses helps people gets rid of negative energy things like that but that's what i'm saying there are different types of occultist and there's different types of satanist even though they're called satanist because they work with the demons and or, or whatever doesn't necessarily mean that they're an evil person they just know how to work with that darker energy better than the light okay and this is what he explained and he's done a lot of knowledge and it, you know a lot of it originates from his belief and his way of being brought up okay but you've got those ones that are classed as satanists that do call up on the devil and the demons and they do nothing but harm evil and badness like sister mystical said there are people like that and sister drew's right as well but don't think that everybody that takes the form of satanist on is actually an evil person okay because they just have slightly different beliefs they have slightly different ways that they believe in this um colony and stuff okay and they believe in a different form of justice is completely different and he said that's where people get mixed up when you hear the, the name satanist when you tell somebody of that sort of work they presume that you're that sort of person no there's different types and I'm like, right, okay, it's just we do work with dark energy, not with the light energy. But obviously, anyone knows that if you're doing magic, you're working with both anyway. You know, so, you know, I just want to say that I'm not comprehending saying go to a saint in this place and start doing all that. It's brilliant because there are yeah. a lot of very bad people that do that. But the one that I met, really down to earth, lovely guy. He goes to people's houses and helps people get things out of their house. He does really good things. He just has a slightly different way that he looks at stuff. And he's done a lot of years of studying to understand how to work with these energies in the correct way so that they don't cause harm. They just bring justice and things like that. So, again, everybody's different. And don't judge a book by its cover. Just because you hear the name doesn't mean they're all the same. They're all very different. You know what I mean? So... Yeah. See, that's why I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to see if I can get him to come on one of our shows. I'll talk to him and see if he can come on one of our shows so you guys can actually meet him and explain to you what he does. You know what I mean? He's not a negative energy. He's so funny. Drew, you would be in stitches with him. He's such a he's a funny guy. Funny, funny guy. He would have you in stitches. You know what I mean? He's really down to work. You're like, I see. Drew, yeah. do you want me to answer Beth's question if you want to put it back? Yes, up there? please. Yeah, I'm okay. going to try to find Where it. I can't Beth's find question. it. This I'm trying to find it. What question. do you do when you know? I'm not even saying Beth. Who put it up again? Was it Kaylee or was it? It was, a, it was, was Beth. It, oh, it was Beth. That's right. I thought it was Kaylee. I'm not okay. saying Beth. Kaylee there. It was okay. Beth. Okay, so what it says, I'll go ahead and it says, what do you do when you no, know someone? I just answer it and I'll put it up. Okay, it says, okay, the question is, what do you do when you know someone has put a curse on you? I don't know who did it. I just know a few people have told me I have a curse on me recently. <laughs> First of all, you need to make sure that whoever told you that you know is uh has how i mean how do they know that that you did okay first of all second of all all you need to do is get you a candle okay you can even write on the candle in the event that i have a curse i don't know who it is you know i want it to go back to them reflect off of me to go 
to go back to move away from me what you do is you get a mirror you can go to like Dollar Tree and get those little mirrors you know that you open up and it's a mirror on both sides keep it closed just get you a hammer or something and smash it where it breaks in pieces okay now what I want you to do is get those pieces of the mirror don't look in them you don't want your reflection in them okay so get the pieces just get some tape and tape it to the candle like in several places like north south east and west okay and you can write on a, a piece of paper that you don't know who it is that you want it to get off of you you want it to just be sent back to where it came from you don't have to know who sent it to you. Want to find it. yeah i have i have a video uh, but that way you can just send it back you light the candle and with that candle you get that piece of paper and you burn it put it in a uh something that's fireproof okay so you burn it with the candle lit you put it in the fireproof deal don't let your reflection in those mirrors okay so you have it facing away north south east and west and that's all you do is say it so anything that has come to you or will come to you in the future will just hit that mirror and just go right back to them you don't even have to know who it is it's that simple okay put your intentions on the words on what is being said for it to go back yeah and i do agree with that and i don't like my yeah. way of like removing hexes and closes are a little bit different i use a illustration which is a clay plate clay i will put i will roll out a clay plate I put things like bay leaf and other herbs that I know that are associated with removing them. I get an oil that I have that is associated with removing them. I'll put the intentions of the person needing to be protected and then the, the intentions of the person that it needs to be returned to. And I'll do that. And I do an individual protection thing over the person that's been affected as well. And what I do is I let I, I will put all of the herbs and the papers that I've wrote on with the intentions of what's happening to that person and the person that's doing it or if i don't know the person i'll just say the person is not known that is affecting so and so and i'll burn that put that in with the bay leaf and that and i just in, i put my intentions that any energy coming from that person to this person will be taken by this plate that it will sit within the plate so then i put it outside in the elements of the daytime which is by the sun this is what will dry it out then I put it into the moon so that our sister moon can give it energy and um, help it to do its thing. Then what I would normally do is either leave the plate if it's to do with me in my house or if it's for somebody else, the plate would be sent to that person and the person keeps hold of that plate for several months until they feel that they're not being affected anymore. And I do say to them to do things like keep sage in the south, their spiritual baths and stuff like that to keep them cleansed. But to keep that plate close by so there's that's what i'm saying there's different ways that people sort out yeah hexes and, hexes and that and some people have put symbols that reflect it as well and all sorts so i do yeah, that sometimes. yeah but it's that's it. yeah did you see how dark it they are guys yeah. and i would yeah. do it totally different from that so i would yeah because what i would do as a farm if I was sort, I would get. See, I'm, I'm a candle magic type of person. I'm a man. I'm a candle magic. I bring. I go straight to candles for everything. So I would do a candle, and what I would do was I would put a, a rope around it, and I would make sure that that rope around that, when I'm putting that on, that is the intent of that person that is doing that to them. So when that burns away, all that is away from them. That's the way I break a hex. That the rope is around the candle, so that is essentially every single bad thing that is being done to them is my intent going into that wrapping that, that round with the intent that when it burns away. So the candle's going to be everybody's name on it. People that that's yeah. essentially that person. So say it was me, it would be Andrina on the candle, my date of birth. Rid, I want to get rid of all negative energy that's around me, any curses, any hexes, any bad juju, any evil eye. Is going to go when this cord goes down to the bottom of the candle, everything's gone. So basically, you wrap that around, everything is bad. That person that put the evil eye on me, you're doing all that as you're wrapping it around. You put your candle up, you light it, 
and you let it do its business. Once it's gone, it's gone. You forget about it and that's you over. You live your life with positive yeah. energy for that. Usually there's nothing there left but crumbs. You know, there so you can do many, There's many, many forms and ways that you can do these, any mm -hmm. sort of spell and ritual. And everybody, so as many. we prove today yeah. on the panel, we all do it completely differently. Sister, yeah, I I sister Mystical uses different. a candle and she uses uh, mirrors. I use a clay plate and different herbs. And Sister Drew does a string so around, around a candle. We're all different. I think I have several videos oh, on it in different ways. <laughs> and I've done I've done different ways as well. I've done the wrapping mm -hmm. and binding thing and I've done the other things. So I just really relate to my clay plating. It really works for me, my clay plating one. It really does. See if your minute, clay plates so. works for Sister Sherry. Candle magic yeah. works for me. Mystical does it her way as well. It's it's what you and you guys will find that. You'll find what works for you. Maybe you're the type of person that likes to pray. Prayers are powerful. Some sometimes, much like Sister uh, Phoenix, Sister Phoenix is going to start coming up at random, guys, when she's got time. Much like Sister Phoenix, she's a great prayer person. Any prayers and things that she does for people, they're usually the, your prayers are like you that. So there is certain things that people will have their strengths in. If you if you, any of you guys have been here for this journey for years with us, you know a way, way back when I had the idea to open the coven, when and, and I'm not saying this to be bad or anything, when we we started the coven, we started it up, but Sister Sherry and I weren't together, we weren't kind of talking at the time, we weren't not talking, we were just doing our own thing, and so she wasn't there, and it didn't really feel right to me, so I was well picking done. people to join the coven and things, the clan as I call it, but the, everybody that I was adding to the clan, it was people that I had watched for years, that I had noticed little certain things in the chat, that they had certain opinions, that they always kept commenting, they always had a great advice for people. So it's all those type of people that I added in. And then obviously, Sister Sherry and I, I think we started talking just as we opened it up. And I was like, do you want to join the clan? Perfect timing, because Mystical was in there as well and we were all there. So it meant that there was every single person in place that we had always had that rapport with each other. We had always, anything we had ever done always worked. So every single person that is in the clan helping to teach everybody has all got their own strengths. I can't wait till Phoenix finds the confidence to come up. And Devi as well. Evie's good at tarot and things and she doesn't realise it. But they're all, and all these, the other things that they can tell you. And Uncle Danny's a bit due popping up as well. So all these people will be able to give you a better perspective on a lot of things than we can as well. Because they've all got little expertise and things that we don't have in different views again. So definitely don't ever apologise or anything for anything that you ever feel or you're doing different or... Remember what Mystical especially has always told you, and Sister Sherry and I tell you, if you want to use something different, use it. Always do what you're guided to do, okay? Remember that. So changing the subject just a little bit for our Hatchy Hatchy, who has is one of our long-time followers, guys. So we're going to change the subject just for a moment for Hatchy's question. He wants to know, let's talk ley lines. So... I don't know if you want to talk ley lines with spirits or ley lines with what we're talking about tonight, Hatcha. But there is a prime example of ley lines. Ley lines can help you draw in energies. If you notice when you're going, when we'll talk about the paranormal here for a minute, if you're on a paranormal investigation, for example, and there's a ley line, much like I do believe maybe there at Lovers Lane where the witch attacked me. And now we're friends. <laughs> anyway, much like there, I do believe there may be a ley line there. And then that added with the water really makes it a kind of portal, magical spot, if you like. So my opinion of ley lines is they're good for drawing energy and things. And I do believe that when we're walking through the woods and things like that, and maybe all of a sudden we'll feel like energy and things, who knows, there could be ley lines underneath us then. Maybe it's the ley lines that direct us to where we need to go. Who knows? But ley lines are an interesting 
sub subject. Well, I don't know too much about them. I just know that they're great for energy. Is there anything your sisters want to add? Ley lines, um, they can be used for quite a lot of reasons, really, can't they? So, like, yeah, you've got it with the energy, and obviously they link up places. And like Sister said, that you know they lead you to certain areas you need to go to. You know, you can have portals and things that open around ley lines as well, which is where energy is coming in and out. Um, some people even use the ley lines as ways or form of travel in astro traveling and things like that spiritually. So there are so many reasons why the ley lines are here. And um, I'm, I most definitely believe they're a form of a doorway, but a doorway in a different way. They're not like a doorway, like a portal. They're a doorway to our world. And I believe they're everywhere. They're all through our world. And they're, they're the points to move into different places. I believe ley lines are maybe the places and the things that you go over and it takes you into another dimension. For instance, like Sister Mystical, she's in a car, she sees a dinosaur run past her. I believe she maybe went through a, a ley line energy that <laughs> exactly. goes back to that time, you know what I mean? So yeah. they're amazing. Yeah, ley it's, lines, ley lines have so much yeah. energy, it's almost like a burst at certain times, letting that yeah. burst out. Also, too, ley lines have been known to be um like a aliens if you believe in aliens yeah, yeah. um they've been also known to have something to do with that that they use the ley lines for the earth to also like we use roads they use the energy from the ley lines however it is that they use it that they've been associated that they're they're seen a lot around the ley lines but the energy is a, a whole lot if you're doing an investigation, you know there's ley lines around. Definitely, Chances Tana. are you're going to get a whole lot more activity going on. Oh, yeah, I agree with that. And that Stonehenge most definitely is on ley lines. There is no uh, dispute in that at all. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're definitely some man, Hatchie. We all love you. We can take you. We know your we know your personality. Okay. <laughs> You're definitely cuz. Hope that explains it a little bit for you better. <laughs> so yeah, I was thinking that as well. That maybe Stonehenge and things is on ley lines. Is there anybody know if it really oh, is? Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. I was wondering. There's most definitely. Yeah, so there you go. So right. listen, guys. Mystical has still got a cold room, I do believe. So we're going, we are at an hour and 13 minutes. We will be going at an hour and 30. So we've got 15 minutes left. Is there anything, now this is back to the witchy 101 type of thing, right? So is there any questions on any anything that we covered tonight in the witchy 101 with the dark energies and light energies? Is there anything you guys that are learning want to know? Remember and put them in the comments below if you catch it on the replay. So just remember that we're always open to the fact that you don't um, do the same as we do or anything. So just remember that oh, yeah. if you want to comment and things. Just tell us what you think. Is there any other questions? And the ones that are in the clan group on WhatsApp, keep talking in there if you want as well about it all. We're there to ask the question, answer the questions in there as well. But these are all mostly clued up in there. This is more for the people that's watching on the background that don't comment and things. Mm -hmm. Definitely try and comment and ask us questions if we've not covered anything for you. Because remember, this is so, our what do you opinions, want? okay? This is our opinions and we're giving you from our own personal experiences. You may yeah. have talked to someone else that has experienced things different, but we're just telling you from our point of view what we've experienced and pretty much that's it just goes from there just be you be you and be comfortable yeah. in what you learn yeah. and just go with the the journey okay that is what the craft's about it's not just about forming magic and doing all this stuff it's about learning about yourself and discovering yourself as well that is a big part of this even though we're here to help and to guide and whatever else 
going so really, into I that, I really finding you. you, finding your connection as well. That is so important, guys. So just be you. You don't have to be like anyone else. You're not meant to. Thank you, Jess. Okay, have your own magic. Own magic. Yeah. Remember, we all stay different places. We all have different environments that are going on around yeah. us. So all our practices are going to be different, guys. We're all in different countries, different spots of the world, different situations. Please just remember, you will feel your power when you start practicing and start giving your offerings and giving your power and giving your thanks and things and drawing in your energies. Just don't abuse that power. Always use it to do love and light. Always do it for the better of yourself, your soul, other people's souls. Always use it to do for the better of mankind. Anybody that you even see is struggling, kind of just say a quick little prayer to the goddess as you see them walk past. Say, goddess, please just help that person if they are struggling in their yeah. daily life. And, and it's yeah. just little quiet things like that that you do that you can maybe just empower that person with. Use it for the better of good. And yeah. guys, best, I swear, if it's not for you, you won't love it. Yeah, I agree. We get definitely yourself. Sister Mystical said. Stay true to yourself and you'll follow the right thinking that you need to think and to get there. And I, like I've always said... Um, like my one advice is don't come in the craft to do something to expect something back you don't do it to expect something back you do it because exactly. it's love it's passion and it's what you believe in okay you never do something you're going to, to find out bad. pretty quickly yeah. yeah. you'll find out pretty quickly if this is for you or not because it really yeah. is a way of life i wouldn't have all this full room in my home if it wasn't my way of life it would be a crack room or it would still have my son's sports stuff in it it really is in your core guys it's either going to be the way you are or it's not and you're yeah. not going to feel it and that's mm -hmm. okay too if you want to just come along for the journey and see if it is for you just remember don't abuse the power is all i kind of want to say because it's it really can help people and it can help look like what it done for me it saved my goddamn life. It really did. Yes, I wasn't used to feel empowered by that. Bev says, I've been in turmoil for about a month now and I really want it to stop. Well, Bev, it starts with self-love, sweetheart. Look at yourself and know that you're something and you're special. Tell yourself that. You can write, you can do little candles and write, you know, positive mementos on there and ask maybe on some of your candles right where the problem is and that you want it to be removed you know do things to be like benefit yourself sweetheart there are things you can do at home not being a witch simple as just getting a candle and writing i want so and so or i want this issue and you write the name of the issue down to be removed i don't want to be hurt by it anymore you just like that candle you think about those problems that are you're getting and then being removed from your body. Focus on a light moving that energy out of your body. It's about you don't believe in the meditation. Tail, yeah. Meditation, mm -hmm. just sitting there and thinking for a little bit, sitting in nature and just asking them to take that energy that you don't want away. They do listen to you. It's just about and, connecting. And bubble yourself. If you don't know bubble, how to bubble yeah. yourself, I've yes. got a video on that too on my channel. Very, protection very is key. guys i'll put all the lights on the yourself yeah protection's key when this Definitely. charges when this charges guys i will put the, the links to mystical videos i'll try and do it on the laptop when i finish i'll put the links in the description or, or i'll pin them to the comments for the video what was the video i was to look for again um the one for sending back they're like sending back the, oh, yeah. the, for the curse and then also for I don't the bubbling, want to the, yeah the bubbling that 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 that. That. guys i'm going to just put mystical's channel in there as well as because you can find so much on the playlist actually the lady that's on the channel with me and um drew is mystical love and light rochelle she's really awesome go check her channel channel out like sister mm -hmm. saying that she's got so much on there okay. Thank yeah, you. she's amazing, guys. I will. That's what I'll do. Who's the who's the nice 
bird from across the pond, mystical something, cat like. I'm riding. Oh, my hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> our no, hatchet. Riddling, sorry, not riding. Riddling, that is our, that is my friend from across. Wait, riddling it. I always say that she's my friend across the world because I do believe if we're in the same town, she would be my best friend. So I always Banshee. say she's my best friend across the world, or she's my friend across the world. <laughs> Banshee, you don't you don't offend people in here. This community is a very open community, and we accept every type of um, belief in that in here. So oh, no, not no, you would never family, offend family, darling. You're a sister. There is no offence at all. Not at all. I'm not easily offended. <laughs> we're all different, and we're okay to be different. That's what makes us all yeah. unique, so it's fine. Do not worry. Embrace it. We're not judgmental, guys. Wait, we're not here to, to go, judge guys, you. Because I've Even though we get Josh judged Colin. a lot, we're not judgmental. <laughs> well, I, I judge mystical. I do. I tell her off all the time for saying she's a spiritual being. But, you know, I love her really. <laughs> she's, she's not a frog yet. We, so she's we not don't really, we just right. have a jive. Okay. <laughs> Come on. I've done that since I was itty bitty. I'm like Sherry. We can <laughs> think about I've done it since I was itty jazz. bitty, but I'm still. Just a spiritual being. As my sister says, <laughs> I better put that holy in front of it. She says, put that holy. You're a holy spiritual being. That's what my sister always tells me. <laughs> holy spiritual being. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the community is just awesome, guys. And I do know that there's people that watch us that don't like to comment and things. But I will. I invite you to start trying to come into the live streams and things like that. Try and person. experience the chat and be here because you all feel empowered by it. We all try and keep each other going in the comments and things. So this is for the people watching back. Try and push yourself to come into a live stream, okay? Is there anything you want to say, sisters, about anything that's coming up on your channels before we go? I've just got uploads and stuff coming up on my channel. Um, I've got a meditation video that came on today. That should have been on today. So there is a new meditation oh, video on my ooh. channel. I'm obviously in the middle of doing all these um, carry-on shows from Witchy 101. So keep your eye out for that. Obviously, yes. gonna, in the week, we're going to try and get on and do get out to the graveyard. Thank so you for that. posted for that as well. And Sister Mystical's show next Tuesday as well, obviously. Ooh. Yeah, I've got a lot of videos coming out too. Like either they're just yeah. like short, showing you how to do certain uh, incense workings, cool. things like that, and they're very, very short, like four, five, six minutes long. They're coming out, uh, I think tomorrow, tomorrow night. I don't know. I've got like six of them scheduled. So, yeah, just keep an eye out for us. Yeah, all of us. Good, and good. Subscribe to all of us if you haven't already. Everybody, even that comes in later, subscribe to. And we'll all say prayers, help. Beth, for you, okay? Yeah. Prayers, sis. Yeah, we'll definitely all say prayers for you when we're doing we're all at night and things, okay? And yes, I morning. use cinnamon yesterday. Yeah, Sister yeah. Phoenix, I did my yeah. Yeah. That's so. Right, everybody, I'm going to go. So if you didn't catch that, just remember and always check each other's channels out. I do believe, Sister... Christina will be live tomorrow night, our usual Saturday night. Maybe one, maybe me and Miss Sherry will go up with her this week. Who knows? So definitely check it out as well. And just always remember, keep an eye on the channels. If you're sitting in your board and you've nothing to you. do, just check us out, <laughs> you know. And share yeah, each I'll other out because it does you. help, guys. Definitely, yeah. Okay, dokie. Right, I'm going to run the outro, guys, just to let you say cheerio to each other and things. Um, and I, I will see you all soon. Bye bye the now. Bye bye. And I'll play the outro, Merry guys, time. and say goodbye to each other. Remember, I'll put it on here. Let bye, guys. Let's do the disclaimer because we were a bit controversial tonight. Do, 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 do.